The clangor of the swords had died away. The shouting of the slaughter was hushed. Silence lay in the red stained ground. The sun that glittered so blindingly from the river and sand covered bank struck sheens of silver from rent corslet and broken blade, where the dead lay as they had fallen. The nerveless hand yet gripped the broken blade, helmeted heads back drawn in death throes, tilted red beards, and golden beards grimly upward, as if in last invocation to Ymir, the frost giant, god of a warrior race. Across the red drifts in desolation, two figures glared at each other, one black-haired and one red. Man, said the red-haired warrior, tell me your name so that my brothers in Vanaheim may know who is the last of Wolfhair's band to fall before the sword of Hamdal. Not in Vanaheim, growled the black-haired warrior, but in Valhalla will you tell your brothers that you met Conan of Samaria. Hamdal roared and leapt, and his sword flashed in a deadly arc. Conan staggered and his vision was filled with red sparks as the singing blade crashed on his helmet, shivering into bits of blue fire. But as he reeled, he thrust with all the power of his broad shoulders behind the humming blade. The sharp point tore through brass scales and bones and heart, and the red-haired warrior died at Conan's feet. The Cimmerian stood upright, trailing his sword, a sudden sick weariness assailing him. The glare of the sun and the sands cut his eyes like a knife and the sky seemed shrunken and strangely apart. He turned away from the trampled expanse where yellow-beard warriors lay locked with red-haired slayers in the embrace of death. A few steps he took and the glare of the sandy fields was suddenly dim. A rushing wave of blindness engulfed him and he sank into the sands, supporting himself on one mailed arm, seeking to shake the blindness out of his eyes as a lion might shake his mane. Story adapted from The Frost Giant by Robert E. Howard <laughs>